Hi, beloveds. It's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Mi amores, welcome to the weekend, okay? Today's video is about weekend predictions, okay, for the weekend of August 2nd, okay? So, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I'll be dropping my videos so you can be the first to know. Oh, grr, yes, okay? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three options, okay? Go with the first one that comes to you, okay? Um, One, two, or three. We're gonna look at the piles and you can look for your pile in the timestamps in the description box. And I'll add a comment as well, beloveds, okay? So this is weekend predictions, okay? What spirit wants you to know for your highest and best good, okay? For this weekend, what to expect um, the energies to explore. And please, if these messages resonate with you, please comment. I love to read the comments. Um, you can also tip all the infos in the description box. You can book a private reading with me at clementinechloe.com. Again, in the description box. So let's get started. Let's get this weekend popping. Oh, grr, yes. Okay, so this is the number one pile. This is... Oh, this is the number two pile and this is the number three pile so inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale go with the first pile that comes to you and you can skip ahead okay so can i get a oh crap for my number ones oh crap Number one, what's popping this weekend, boo? Hold up, hold up, one second, hold up. Uh, uh, okay. So, my number ones. We guys, you guys got Knight of Wands, okay? We got Page of Wands, uh huh, as well as Knight of Swords. A lot of action, okay. A lot of people surrounding you this weekend, my number ones. Um, and a lot of fire energy, creative energy, okay. Something here for you to be speaking on, okay. Speaking upon your creativity, speaking upon what's coming to you, okay. Because it could bring you a lot of money, Ace of Pentacles, okay. So, an opportunity to increase your finances, an opportunity to embody maybe the creative energy that you're feeling, channeling it in some creative, your creative energy in, in your body, okay. So this is really beautiful, exploring that and communicating your need to do so with the Knight of Swords, okay? Also, this could be the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. You could be having communication this weekend with somebody and you kind of have to be intelligent, okay? I feel like, you know, you have to be quick with it, you know, quick-witted with your words, okay? But you will be, okay? You will be able to express yourself. Oh, yeah yes number one this energy is very powerful so you guys have ace of pentacles king of pentacles and queen of pentacles what is going on number one like what is happening here are you guys gonna be getting so much money i feel like so much abundance and communicating your desires okay and collaborating i feel like with people this is going to be a harmonious situation here when we have the king and the queen of pentacles and the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles all together all aligns here with abundance okay so i feel like here there's going to be opportunities for you to be making a lot of money this weekend okay as well as for you to maybe expand upon your your resources expand upon how you can be making money maybe it's collaborating with other people maybe it's communicating you know what you have to say your knowledge working on your creative projects here working on your passions if this is a relationship i feel like you guys can be enjoying each other okay physically all right <laughs> i feel like this is like could be very passionate energy like i'm feeling very hot okay so this is like a steamy passionate energy i feel like it could be um a beginning okay of a relationship a beginning of a financial partnership a beginning of you kind of reuniting two sides of you okay 
and in this way you're being very creative okay so with the page of wands you want to be able to explore study learn more about okay what is happening for your what is that passion inside of you okay how can you explore more how can you study more about your passions how can you explore more sometimes you do without knowing everything okay because with that page energy it's like you have that new energy that beginner energy that novice energy and the night but you have to act on it you have to be quick with it okay so this could be also messages coming in a lot of communication but the good kind of communication the communication that's adding something to your life adding abundance to your life okay and i feel like there's a lot of fire energy okay and you know we are having a lot of fire happening in the charts as well okay with the leo season mm. grand shines and everything is happening okay but remember, Uranus is in Taurus, okay? So this Taurus, I feel like this is a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, grounded energy, okay? You could also be connecting with Earth signs, okay? Connecting more with people um, who have these placements. And this is also asking you to have patience, okay? Because with all this fire, you might want to go, 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 go. But Spirit's asking you to have patience, okay? Put in patience with your practice, okay? If you really look at it here, you have a page, you have two knights and a king and a queen. So you have all the court um um court cards here as as well as like the levels so with that it's like there's a progression here there's like a this to this to this you're like encapsulating you're embodying all these different levels okay so there's a lot of levels to this okay this could be you and other pe other people or different multiple sides of you that are coming out and expressing themselves you have withdraw so with that i feel like spirits ask you to take some time for yourself just to enjoy to take things slow okay so this means dedicating time to your self-care practices okay this means dedicating time to a meditative practice okay and not getting caught up too much if someone comes to you if someone comes to you with the knight of swords come on someone comes talking out their neck to you and da -da 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 -da. you okay need to be more okay withdraw because you don't need to give your power away because you are very powerful with all these pentacles very powerful okay and then you have the sun and divine masculine energy so these are really two of the same thing okay because the sun can represent male energy okay and the moon represents feminine energy so with this this is asking you to claim okay to take space okay to um basically expand your perception here your you know ideas of what is possible okay because you are being called to really grow okay with this something is going to be illuminated here okay and i feel like you already know what it is it's you i feel like coming into your power you really seeing how you can kind of take all of this energy and progress okay how you're going to be able to create a lot of abundance okay by making yourself the center of attention by putting yourself at as your own son okay you're feeding yourself you're feeding your passions okay and this is going to help you to grow okay and this is going to be that expansion here that's happening with the ace of pentacles this opportunity that's coming here this weekend for you to make some sh money okay for you to set up something that's going to be very stable okay because this is like the energy of creativity and stability that i'm seeing here okay with the divine masculine too this is asking you to feel confident okay that god i'm not god because this is a god here i feel like this is like god's energy is your source energy is fueling you so be confident in that okay be confident in the source from which you come from okay so this is asked you to take up space to communicate exactly what it is that's going on in your mind because i feel like you could be saying exactly what it is that needs to be said okay studying learning growing and taking up that yin and yang energy so i feel like you're you're being open, you're putting yourself out there, you're being open, you're being receptive to new by saying, this is what I deserve, this is what I'm worth, this is what I'm working with, okay? I know my worth, okay? The king and the queen of pentacles know their worth, they know what exactly they need to be charging for their services, they know exactly, you know, how to make money, how to protect their resources, how to protect their energy, how to work with the earth, okay? And this energy that's asking to ground, okay, is asking you to expand, is, is abundance. This is that earth energy growing and growing by your creativity, by your fire, by you putting action, okay? Action into it, okay? So that's what I got for you, number one. If the message resonates, please comment, please holla at me. I do appreciate it. You can tip, you can book a private reading, all the infos in the description box. So, Let's go to number two. Can I get an oh crap? 
for my number twos. Oh, crap. Number two. What I do? We got five of wands. Okay. The devil. Ah. Oh, okay. Some tense. I just got, I just started feeling really tense. Okay. So this is like intense. And then strength. Ah, number twos. What's going on this weekend, you guys? What's going on this weekend with you? You're going to be tested. You're going to be triggered. Go try to get a massage, okay? Go, go try to do something to strengthen yourself. Go to the gym to relieve this tension that I'm feeling, okay? Because you can control it by um, tapping into physical energy. The devil card is connected to, okay, Capricorn. So I do want you guys to control, okay? Try to control your body in a sense because your mind, your thoughts might be going crazy. Other people might be coming at you crazy, okay? And strength. Spirits ask you to maintain strength. That means not punch somebody in the face, okay? But have the strength to know it's not with your damn time, okay? Because you bigger, you better, you growing, you evolving. Page of Pentacles, the moon, and the tower card. So already, let's just go with the tarot first, not even get into the oracle right now. Already this energy of number two is very, um, something's about to go down, okay? So this weekend you can see that something is going to be revealed to you and it might shake you up, okay? This could be someone saying something the wrong way, something that you've been, maybe you had your suspicions about and finally is coming to light, okay? This could be happening. Um, but Spirit is asking you not to fight with people because it's just going to make things hotter, okay? I feel like this is going to just blow things more out of proportion, okay? Be the, I embody that page of pentacles. See that there is a fresh start. See that you can take this energy into and you can channel it into something else here okay with the strength card have that strength that strength is connecting us to leo okay and this is like having confidence in yourself knowing that you can no matter what happens no matter what dodgeballs that you be getting okay you can overcome them okay because it's like you are very powerful you have confidence you have radiance you are here are stepping up you are elevating here okay and the tower is here to shake it up so you can you know restart you can have a new foundation okay and this new foundation is you taking control of your life you not letting your body you're not letting your past habits you're not letting your mind control okay you're not letting your brain control you the one in control you the one with the strength okay so really keep that in mind this weekend when someone fucking comes for you and you want to fucking strangle i'm sorry but i'm feeling a lot of tension right now so that's why i'm like oof someone's coming for you be calm page of pentacles react slowly don't go into nah this is because of this and this and this okay see that it's all happening for you okay for you to be aligned this had to be illuminated because things were not as they seem okay this could be someone trying to control you this could be someone playing mind games with you okay and and it's like don't let them play mind games with you anymore okay it's like there's a new foundation for you to grow upon all right with the tower card expect the unexpected but with the moon card, it's like you already knew what was going to happen because this is your intuition. It's like you could feel it before it happens, okay? And and you could be just too much here. It's like, in a sense, I feel like it's your anger that's being tested, okay? Spirit is saying no, okay, about something as well. So if this is someone that's trying to control you or this is a situation, Spirit is saying this is a hardcore no. That's why that you're having this tower moment. That's why this is kind of happening for you okay it's because it's really just a no it's a, it's and it's a no in a redirection okay you have here a lot going on you have focus release and problem solving so when this problem comes up it could be an internal problem again it could be your own mind against yourself it could be other people um you know trying to take control of you trying to take control of the situation and you kind of have to stand you know up for yourself okay but in a sense you're not standing up for yourself by being you know verbose you're not standing up for yourself by you know trying to you take control you get the upper hand okay you don't let other people's energy impact your energy you keep that same energy so if you wake up and you have intentions and you're like spirit i'm gonna be like this and i'm gonna be like this i'm gonna embody my higher self i'm going to bring peace into the situation to rooms really stick with that okay because of course you're gonna find challenges in life life is not always gonna be easy smooth sailing okay you're gonna find chaos you're gonna find bumps in the road and that's just the way for us to grow this is problem solving to help you focus okay there could be something in which you have to release 
power something has to release control over you have to release a past pattern maybe it's a habit that's choking you and holding you down and you're finally realizing i cannot keep on with this habit okay i have to have the strength to overcome this habit an addiction it could be as well and it's like the addiction or whatever it is is being illuminated so it could be something in you it could be some other another person okay take it as it fits take it take what resonates and leave the rest but what it is saying is that it's helping you to focus okay on something to problem solve okay because it's like you have to kind of elevate you have to come above you have to rise like the phoenix above all of this happening so the tower situation is happening but i feel like it's like after the tower you're you're flying away okay into some you know the the dawn after a dark night okay so remain powerful in your own strength, okay? Remain with the Page of Pentacles, problem solving, looking for new ways. This might mean you have to educate yourself, read some books about something, but take things slow, okay? Because just because something might happen, might shake things up, doesn't mean all of a sudden it's like, oh, I have to act, I have to do something. No, Page of Pentacles is going to take their time. They're going to think about things, problem solve. Think about it logistically. Think about it like a Virgo would. Think about it to perfection and, and work on it like a Capricorn corn would okay all right and be stubborn in your problem solving be focused like a taurus would okay so this is kind of that earth energy to tame that that fire okay that fire that could be um embodied with others or it could be happening in internal conflict okay but we have to release okay there's something happening with you guys number two that just, there's just a no okay it's a no and it's a release let it go okay so spirit is saying to detach 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 okay do not let these things control you you have to detach from the physical you have to detach from the illusions you have to detach from all of this find the strength to do so okay focus problem solve on on the new things that are coming that are going to be illuminated okay so that's what i got for you guys number two if that message resonates please comment please holler at your girl this weekend you could tip, you could book a private reading, all the information's in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so that was an some and such energy. Mm. But anyway, let's move on to number three. Can I get a oh crap for my number three? Oh crap. Number three. Oh, pa, pa. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. I'm loving all these pentacles energy. Oof eight of pentacles okay two of pentacles and seven of swords okay the moon card the ten of cups and the six of wands okay so there's a lot here I feel like for you to balance, okay, and for you to work on this weekend, okay, so you may be having a lot to do and you have to balance it all. Um, Spirit is saying here with the eight of pentacles that, you know, you have to keep on working, whatever it is, if you're not exactly seeing the results because you might be too caught up with the past thinking maybe you missed upon an opportunity, you may be thinking that maybe someone was kind of going behind your back stole your idea re redid your idea into some new packaging spirit is saying it's not happening for okay spirit it's not happening to you okay this is happening because you have to reinvent i feel like yourself you have to kind of see you have all you have done all this work but i feel like there's a smarter better way to do it and it's working on prioritizing not taking up too much to do okay so focus this weekend on you you probably have a lot of projects to do focus on the most important project because you also have to balance okay spending time here ten of cups with your family okay spending time in celebration with your family because i feel like there's a lot of like magical moments happening here for you this weekend okay and with the six of wands it's like you're going to be able to or I feel like, okay, sorry, the four of wands, okay? So with the four of wands, you're going to be able here to celebrate, okay? Again, with your family, to celebrate, maybe it's someone's birthday, okay? Maybe it's um some, someone celebrating a baby shower, okay? Whatever it is that's happening here, 
you know, let yourself have a good time. Don't get caught up too much and oh, I have all this work to do. Just do the most important work, okay? Don't think, if you have to say no to some opportunities, you can't do everything for everybody, that's okay. Don't feel bad that you can't do everything. You can't be everywhere for everybody. You have to be there. You have to be there for the most important people, okay? This could also not just be your family. It could be your family. It could be spending time with your dogs. Your dogs could be your family, you know? Whatever it is for you that's feeling like home to you, you have to really seek out that joy, seek out that that comfort okay because with the four of wands there's some sort of celebration here happening and, and you're going to be able to see here with the moon card things being illuminated okay so with that i feel like this could also be tapping into mother energy spending time with your mother as well maybe it's your mother's birthday um or or tapping in here with like your intuition, okay? And what you know to be true, okay? With that moon card, I feel like there's just a lot of like psychological unearthings happening here. And it's like, even though you could be going through a lot, okay? You really have to prioritize what's the most important thing, okay? To really be focusing your energy on. Because you can't let your thoughts control, you can't let your mind control you in that sense, okay? So getting a hold of that. We have the air card. So with the air card, this is also tuning in here with that seven of swords. This is that air energy, okay? So you might be having a lot of thoughts, okay? Really don't let your thoughts um, overpower you. Don't let your to-do list overtake you, okay? Fate. You're going to be here at faded moments, okay? I feel like that's tuning into that four of wands and that ten of cups. There's going to be some, like, beautiful moments here for you to just enjoy, for you to enjoy everything that you've possibly worked for for you to enjoy that you know that you're focusing just on the most important things here okay you have your ready and winter which is about reflection transition releasing so whatever it is that you're releasing that winter that psychological unearthing that could be happening here mother issues or whatever it is you're you've reflected upon it and you you are kind of here in this sense you're trans you're ready to transition okay you're ready to kind of say, all right, even though that happened, okay, there's still more joy. There's still more experiences I can have. There's still more celebrations I can have. I don't have to stay stuck in, in what was. I'm ready to move forward, okay? Also with winter time, this is also calling you to kind of here release, okay? Release, I feel like, just thoughts that are having you caught up, okay? Thoughts that are having you caught up with maybe if you feel like someone did you wrong, you feel like, does it matter? You're holding a grudge against somebody, whatever it is. Spirit's saying you're ready to release that. You're ready to let, to like put that to bed. You're ready to maybe talk it out, but let it go, okay? Transform it, have compassion, okay, around these things. Because maybe it's not as it seems. Maybe you're taking things a little bit too personal and it wasn't meant to be taken in that sense, okay? Okay? but there no matter what this weekend i feel like there's going to be some very beautiful things for you i feel like you're ready to just like enjoy your time you're ready to just focus and grind on what it is that you have to do but you grinding smart okay and with fate be open to faded moments okay this means that you're gonna find a lot of serendipity you might be seeing okay a lot of seven 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 five five boy one 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 okay whatever it is um these faded moments are here helping you to kind of release the old and transition into something something new okay and to to kind of make magic from all that hard work that you had put in make magic from like all that overthinking possibly that you did and also to find joy okay in the simple things to find joy with your family to find joy just you know maybe even just going outside whatever it is for you that brings you happiness your happiness could also be coming from work as well enjoying that uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Because you're ready, okay? So this weekend, embody that. Like, I'm ready, you're ready. She ready, stay ready, okay? This weekend... <laughs> stay ready okay but you have to stay ready by knowing you can't do everything okay there's some things again you're gonna have to say no to okay my number threes so if that message resonates with you number three please comment please holler at your girl you can tip you can book a private reading with me all the information in the description box beloved i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i will see you soon peace